Aaron Brookshire is alive on Campbell Avenue, and Aaron, we are learning that two people are dead. That's right, Jenna. We just got an update from Police Chief Tim Jones, who says two people are dead after the shooting this morning. They were called here just after 6 o'clock at around 6.08 this morning for reports of an active shooter in Freight Car America. Now, they say they believe one of the people who died is the shooter. Three other people, two or three other people, they're not sure at this point how many people were taken to the hospital as well. So now police are on scene. State police are here. Roanoke City police are here. Roanoke County police are here. They're in side of Freight Car America as well as Norfolk Southern working to make sure that that scene is cleared. They believe that initial threat is over now but want to make sure there are no other devices, no one else connected to this incident still on scene. They tell me all of those employees inside Freight Car America as well as in Norfolk Southern have been evacuated. Where we're standing right now still quite a few employees out here as well waiting to be let back into work, waiting to figure out what happens, what they do next. Now earlier we were up on Campbell Avenue. We've since been pushed back twice by police. So right now we're on the corner of Taswell and 8th and a half street. All of the roads in this area are closed down. Campbell Avenue, 8th street. So make sure if you do normally head this way to work, you are giving yourself plenty of extra time because there are going to be a lot of delays this morning. We'll continue to bring you those updates. We're expecting more updates from police throughout the morning. They say at this point they're not releasing the names of the victims until they can notify family and make sure that they get all of that in order first. But we are expecting to learn that at some point either later today or early tomorrow tomorrow as well. Okay, again, Aaron, if you are just joining us, police tell us two people are dead. One is believed to be the shooter, and they believe that person is a current or former employee of Freight Car America. Two to three other people were taken to the hospital. Now, the Norfolk Southern facility just neighboring that, I talked to a Norfolk Southern spokesperson just a little while ago who told me that they are not allowing new employees at shift change to come onto the property as of yet, and that shift change normally occurs around 7 a.m. So no employees coming on, waiting for further instructions from the company. And Aaron was talking about those traffic problems. Orange and Elm probably going to be your best bets to get into downtown Roanoke right now. This is, of course, a story we will continue to follow throughout the day right here on WSLS 10. When we're not on the air, you can head over to WSLS.com and download our mobile app to get the latest updates on the go.